Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo ang Rational Roots Theorem. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang Rational Roots Theorem. So basically, itong Rational Roots Theorem is ginagamit natin para ma-identify natin yung possible roots ng isang polynomial equation. So basahin natin ang definition natin for Rational Roots Theorem. So if a rational number p over q in lowest terms is a root of the polynomial equation a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times x raised to n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus a sub 2 x squared plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 is equal to 0 where a sub n, a sub n minus 1, a sub n minus 2, dot 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 until a sub 2, a sub 1, a sub 0 are all integers then p is a factor of a sub 0 and q is a factor of a sub n. Okay, so by rational roots theorem, pwede raw nating ma-identify yung possible roots ng isang polynomial equation in this form by getting the ratio p over q. Kung saan yung p, siya yung lahat ng possible factors nung a sub 0 term natin dun sa polynomial equation or yung constant term. And then yung q naman, siya yung lahat ng possible factors nung numerical coefficient natin doon sa leading term or yung expression with highest exponent. In this polynomial equation is a sub n. Okay? So, ang steps para masolve natin yung all possible roots ng polynomial equation is ililist lang natin yung all possible factors ng constant and then ililist din natin lahat ng factors ng coefficient ng leading term natin and then i-divide lang natin one at a time yung lahat ng p doon sa q. So, dapat ma-pair natin yung p sa q in such a way na lahat ng possible combinations nila is magagawa natin without repeating the number. Okay? So, let's try to solve some examples para ma-illustrate natin ang rational roots theorem. So, for the first problem, we have find the possible rational zeros or roots of the equation x to the fourth minus x cubed minus 11x squared plus 9x plus 18 equals 0. Okay, so hanapin daw natin yung lahat ng possible rational zeros or roots nitong polynomial equation. So, again, ang first step is identify natin yung p kung saan ito yung lahat ng possible factors ng constant doon sa polynomial equation. So, ang constant natin is positive 18, right? So, lista natin lahat ng possible factors niya. So, pwedeng 1 times 18, right? Pwede ring negative 1 times negative 18. Pwede ring 2 times 9. Pwede ring negative 2 times negative 9. Pwede ring 3, tsaka 6. And negative 3, tsaka negative 6. Okay? So, meron pa ba? Wala na. So, itong mga nalist nating factors is pwede nating i write in simplest form. Tulad nitong 1 at negative 1, pwede ko yung gawing plus minus 1 na lang. Itong 2 at negative 2, pwede plus minus 2. Itong 3 at negative 3, pwede ko na lang isulat as plus minus 3. Itong 6 at negative 6, plus minus 6. And then negative 9 at positive 9, plus minus 9. Lastly, negative 18 at positive 18, plus minus 18. So, pinagsi ko lang yung pagsulat natin dito sa factors. Okay? Now, sa Q naman, hanapin din natin yung possible factors, yung numerical coefficient ng leading term. So, yung leading term natin dito is x to the fourth, right? Kasi siya yung may highest exponent. So, ano yung numerical coefficient niya? Invisible, 1. Right? So, therefore, hanapin natin lahat ng possible factors ng 1. So, pwede 1 times 1, or pwede rin negative 1 times negative 1. Right? Or pag pinagsi natin, pwede na lang natin isulat, dahil naulit naman tong dalawang 1 at dalawang negative 1, isusulat lang natin yan as 1 factor. So, plus minus 1. Okay? So, next step, after nating mahanap yung P tsaka Q, i-divide na natin. So, i-divide natin lahat ng possible P doon sa possible Q. So, pag ginawa natin yon, pwede kong i-divide, magsimula tayo sa plus minus 1, divided by plus minus 1. 
equal pa rin yan sa plus minus 1. Right? So, isang possible factor ito. Next combination, di-divide ko naman itong P na plus minus 2 sa Q na plus minus 1. So, equal pa rin yan sa plus minus 2. Next, itong plus minus 3, di-divide ko sa plus minus 1, equal pa rin yan sa plus minus 3. And then, plus minus 6, di-divide ko sa plus minus 1, equal pa rin yan sa plus minus 6. Plus minus 9, divide ko sa plus minus 1, equal pa rin sa plus minus 9. Lastly, plus minus 8, divide ko sa plus minus 1, equal pa rin sa plus minus 8. So, therefore, lahat ng possible P over Q natin is plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 6, plus minus 9, plus minus 8. So, actually, kapag nakita nyo na yung Q nyo lang is plus minus 1 lang yung factors, automatically, yung possible P over Q nyo is equal lang din sa possible P nyo. Okay? So, therefore, ito yung lahat ng possible roots nitong polynomial equation natin. Next, find the possible rational zeros or roots of the equation 4x cubed minus 16x squared plus 11x plus 10 equals 0. Okay, so hanapin muna natin yung P, which is yung possible factors nitong constant natin sa polynomial, which is positive 10. So, pwedeng plus minus 1 paired with plus minus 10, right? Pwede rin plus minus 2 paired with plus minus 5. So, wala na. And then, para naman sa Q, hanapin natin yung factors, yung numerical coefficient ng leading term natin, which is in this polynomial 4x cubed. So, yung numerical coefficient niya is positive 4. So, hanapin natin yung factors ng positive 4. So, pwede plus minus 1 paired with plus minus 4, right? Pwede rin plus minus 2 paired with plus minus 2. Pero dahil para silang plus minus 2, isusulat ko na lang as single plus minus 2. Okay? Ngayon, hanapin na natin yung ratio P over Q. So, una natin i-prepare is itong mga P dito sa unang Q na, sorry, plus minus 1 ito. So, kanina napansin nyo kapag dinivide natin sa Q na plus minus 1 yung lahat ng P, ano yung magiging P over Q natin? Equal lang din sa original P, right? So, therefore, pag pinair natin tong plus minus 1, plus minus 10, plus minus 2, plus minus 5, sa Q na plus minus 1, dinivide natin, automatic meron tayong P over Q na P ren. So, plus minus 1, plus minus 10, plus minus 2, plus minus 5. Okay? So, na-pair na natin sa plus minus 1. Next, i-pair naman natin lahat ng P ulit dito sa plus minus 4. So, we have, start tayo sa plus minus 1 paired with plus minus 4. Equal yan sa plus minus 1 fourth. Next, etong plus minus 10 paired din natin sa plus minus 4. Equal yan sa plus minus 10 over 4 or in lowest term, 5 over 2. Next, etong plus minus 2 paired natin sa plus minus 4. Equal yan sa plus minus 2 over 4 or plus minus one half. So, urong ko. And then, lastly, pair natin tong plus minus 5 sa plus minus 4. We have plus minus 5 over 4. Okay? Lastly, ipipair natin lahat ng P dito sa plus minus 2. So, start tayo sa plus minus 1 divided by plus minus 2. We have plus minus 1 half. Okay? Next, ito namang plus minus 10. Pair din natin sa plus minus 2, we have plus minus 10 over 2 or plus minus 5. And then itong plus minus 2, i-pair natin sa plus minus 2, we have plus minus 2 over 2 or 1. Lastly, itong plus minus 5, pair natin sa plus minus 2, we have plus minus 5 over 2. So therefore, ito lahat ng mga possible P over Q natin. Okay? Pero i-check nyo kung meron bang naulit. Kung may naulit, i-count nyo lang yun as 1. So, itong plus minus 1 natin, naulit, right? So, delete ko na to. Count lang natin as isang plus minus 1. Itong plus minus 10, so hindi siya naulit. Plus minus 2, hindi rin naulit. Plus minus 5, so naulit siya dito. So, delete ko na to. Count lang natin as 1 plus minus 5. 
Then, plus minus 1 fourth, hindi siya na ulit. Plus minus 5 halves. So, na ulit siya dito. So, delete na natin. Count lang natin na sisa. Next, plus minus 1 half. So, na ulit siya dito. So, delete na natin to. Count lang natin as isang plus minus 1 half. And then, plus minus 5 fourths. So, therefore, ito na yung lahat ng possible P over Q natin or zeros or rational roots ng polynomial equation. So, we have plus minus 1, plus minus 10, plus minus 2, plus minus 5, plus minus 1 fourth, plus minus 5 halves, plus minus 1 half, plus minus 5 over 4. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Rational Roots Theorem. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.